Back in 2014, Waylon Jennings fans from around the country and world made their way to the Musical Instrument Museum in Phoenix. There were some 2,000 items owned by Waylon that were auctioned off. And one of Waylon's prized possessions in particular was sold for much less than the value it deserved at just $6,000. So what made it a steal? It was a robe that was gifted to Waylon by Muhammad Ali. But that's just half the story of this robe. It was gifted to Waylon on a very special night, September 15, 1978, to be precise. While the robe sold for only $6,000, 10 years later, Ali's shorts from the epic thriller in Manila were expected to fetch $6 million. We will get back to what happened that night, but first, please hit the subscribe button and bell icon for your daily dose of country. The robe has a story to tell of a friendship that brought legends from two very different worlds together. Waylon's first impression of Ali, based on what he saw in the media, was not very positive. He spoke about this in his autobiography. I thought he was too smart-ass for his own good when I first heard of him, but after I realized what he was doing, he left hook me quick. Muhammad talked about himself with a grand sense of humor, but it helped that he was probably the most gracefully flamboyant boxer of our lifetime. Waylon realized how wrong he was about Ali, so much so that he once said, when people ask me who I admire most in the world, I always have the same answer, Muhammad Ali. Waylon's introduction with Ali came through another member of the Highwaymen, Chris Christofferson, back in 1978. Christofferson was a bit of a boxer himself, and he got to meet his hero Ali after Ali saw his movie, A Star Is Born. Chris said in an interview that Waylon wasn't impressed with anybody but wanted to meet Ali. He was worried before the meeting between the two legends because that's when Waylon was really messed up. He looked like death eating a soda cracker. His hair was all greasy and he'd been up for a month, but they went on to become great friends. So going back to the robe that Ali gifted Waylon on the night of September 15, 1978, the night that the friendship between the two really took shape. It was the night when Ali had his epic rematch with Leon Spinks, a fight that was anything but ordinary. This wasn't just a title bout, it was a chance for Ali to reclaim his title after being defeated by Spinks earlier that year. The atmosphere was electric and Jennings was there to witness it firsthand. The Louisiana Superdome was packed to its capacity of 63,000. It was the highest live gate for a sporting event at the time with ticket sales reaching $4.8 million, equivalent to $20 million today. Half of America tuned in to watch the fight, making it the biggest televised event back then. Waylon was in Ali's dressing room that night, he recalled. Chris brought me back to his dressing room the night he won the belt back from Leon Spinks. Before the fight, he was the most calm man you ever saw, sitting on his trainer's table, waiting, sure it was a done deal. After Ali regained his title and became the first ever three-time heavyweight champion, he surprised Waylon with a gift the white terry cloth robe he wore before the fight and the training gloves from the bout. The significance of the event and the legacy of the two greats definitely make the $6,000 price tag an absolute bargain. Their bond didn't end there. A few months later, Waylon invited Ali to his son Shooter's christening. Waylon also had a bus that he named Shooter One. Despite it being unfurnished and unregistered, Ali asked for the keys and drove it all the way to Louisville to visit his mother. He could have kept it. For all I cared, Waylon mused, he means that much to me and the world. The country outlaw legend even penned a song for Ali titled, Here's to the Champion. Although he never had the chance to perform it for him, the song lived on. Years later, at a Parkinson's fun dinner in Phoenix, Chris Christofferson sang it alongside Waylon's widow, Jessie Coulter. The performance brought tears to Ali's eyes, a testament to the profound bond between the two men. Share your thoughts on the friendship between these two legends in comments, and please do hit the like and subscribe buttons for your daily dose of country.